Landing on a high-gravity world, also known as a high-G world, is one of the most dangerous challenges for explorers in Elite Dangerous. When the gravity nears ten times that of Earth, it takes only one wrong move to plummet to your death for even experienced commanders in good ships. One such dangerous planet, aptly named Strong G, is 9.77 Gs and known for its vicious appetite for the unprepared explorer. But it's also known for its beauty. I've never attempted a landing with such immense gravity before, but I decided it was time. Joining me on this expedition roughly 1400 light years out is Miss Crazy Chaos, a viewer and friend of the channel, who's new to exploring but excited for the adventure. I can come to you and meet you up there at set. Do you have a, a far jumping asp explorer or something? Yeah, I have an asp scout. Hmm, how far can it jump? 26.54. Um, something's going on with my docking computer. I tried to auto dock and now it is stuck. I'm gonna shut off the computer completely. The docking computer tried to dock me backwards. I'm not even kidding. No. I have never seen that before. That's a new one. Alright, let me leave the station and I'll send you the coordinates via the chat. Again, if you think that's too far, just let me know and we can totally do something else. Do you know how to do long distance travel? You have a fuel scoop and like a really, really good fuel scoop. It's 71 for me, lol, but I'm willing to try. Okay, we can try, but if you promise me you have the best fuel scoop you can have on that ship. So what's the highest slot on the scout? Is either a 5 or a 6. So you need a 5A or a 6A fuel scoop on that, or else it's going to be a real pain I in do. the ass. I do. Alright. Alright, I'm jumping the set now. And do you have enough credits for comfortable rebuys in case you die? Because we very well could die. This is a very high G planet. It's 9.77 Gs. I said I, I, this might be a trap and you might gank me when I get over here. Don't worry, I'm not like that. But I'm coming into uh, MK ring. Let me know when you're ready to head out. Let's go. Oh, I think I see your scout coming up if that's you. Yep, that's you. <laughs> I strongly fil uh, recommend filtering out um, stars you can't fuel scoop. You know, the ASP scout is pretty light. Well, not very massive, I should say. So you might actually have an advantage of that ship landing on this planet on the surface. To be honest, this is the first long one I've ever done. I'm just so used to my Kumbat Alicon there. Don't worry if I get ahead of you. I, I'm, I jump a lot farther, so I certainly will get ahead of you. But I'll just wait for you over there. Some other YouTubers have done this descent. Um, most of them died their first, like, five attempts, <laughs> so... Don't be too, uh, sad if you blow up. I probably will. Oh, that's a giant star. I think Class O stars are my favorite. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 stars in this system. And there it is. I'm going to go scan this guy. Oh man, it's right next to another star. All right, I'm going to try to map the surface. Come on, surface scanner. I'm right next to the damn planet. Uh, stop. Stop, maybe. Stop. Ah! Uh, I shot a pattern of probes at it. That should do it. I'm getting biological signs on this planet. Oh, there's a tourist beacon here, huh? Is the, is the tourist beacon on the planet? And then there's biological signals on the planet as well. Gotta figure out what the heck those are. Open galaxy map. I wonder if it'll show me right where you're at. You are definitely out of the bubble. I'll give you that much. I can't believe I'm doing this. It's so awesome. Yeah, just try not to fall into space madness. 97 Earth masses. 9.77 gravity. Temperature is 2000 Kelvin. It's tidally locked. If you end up in a video, do you want me to give you like a robot voice or something? Or, uh, you know, one of those voices, uh, text-to-speech things? What type of voice would you want? I think you're gonna reach this planet before my food reaches me that I'm having delivered. Surprise me, and I will be your food. What kind of life could live on a planet with so much gravity? Me. We'll see. I will crash so hard, there will be a hole. Yeah, you're gonna make crater chaos? Yeah, it looks like you're getting closer to me. There you are. And there's your ASP scout. Okay, so I think we should probably just keep Wingman Navlock on. Now, do you have any questions before we go down? I'm going to try to verbalize what we're doing as we're descending. If I die, put it in the video. Oh, oh, I will. I don't waste deaths. No, no deaths are wasted here. Hopefully I see it. <laughs> Ready. 
You ready? Okay. Once you drop out toward the planet, don't accelerate toward the planet. Decelerate. You want to decelerate as much as you can and never use your down thrusters. I'm jumping now. I'm going in at a nice shallow angle. Don't go too fast down through the orbit either because um, it might emergency stop us, which would blow out our FSD and stuff, and that would cause a spiral. And spiraling toward the surface would be very bad. So I have just entered orbital flight. You're probably about to. So far, so good. Nice and easy. Keeping it very shallow, just like me. Super shallow. Now you'll see um, to the left and right those um, numbers like negative 15, negative 10, negative 20. You never want to be below negative 20. See what I mean? If you if you pitch down, your pitch starts to follow that negative number, and it can go past negative 20. And if it does, then we're going way too steep. If you think we're falling too fast, pitch up a bit so that number increases all the way to a flat zero. If that makes sense. My throttle's in the blue. I'm going about 25 kilometers a second and dropping 25, 23, 22. It looks like you're right behind me. Your sideways thrusters on your ASP Scout aren't as strong, so you might plummet straight down. So try to keep flat like you're landing a plane. I'm crossing the exclusion zone, dropping from orbital cruise. My glide is engaged. I'm not going to throttle up. I'm in fact going to throttle down. I'm going to nose up a bit. Glide aborting, fuck. Okay, I just aborted the glide because I thrust it up too much. That's fine. You might shoot past me. You just shot past me. <laughs> Don't nose down too much. You're nosing down. I think you're. I think you're good. Um, I aborted my glide, so I'm just. I'm using gravity to um, pull me closer to the planet. I'm actually not throttling forward, but I'm still going a good speed, as you can see. I'm at negative 14 degrees. You just flew over my head. <laughs> if I want to speed up, I will just tilt downward more. If you tilt downward more, you speed up, and if you lift up, you slow down. So I'm going to use that as my throttle. Does that make sense? So don't. Whatever you do, don't go below like negative 20. And you don't want your speed to go too much higher than 400 either. Landing on a high G world really illustrates the best of the game's piloting mechanics. I'm honestly impressed at how much I had to consider, think about, and maintain during the landing sequence. The whole process was rewarding, and an experience in Elite that every explorer must attempt in their career. Approaching a massive object in space, you get grabbed by the gravity, but it isn't actually pulling you. What happens is you literally fall toward the object. Things getting eaten by black holes, for example, Example, aren't actually getting yanked out of space, but they're rather falling into the singularities. And you really get that sense of falling when you're landing on high G worlds. A heavy direct plummet. It's among the best experiences the game's engine can put forward. My disbelief was adequately suspended. During this descent, I wasn't in my gaming room. I was 1400 light years away at an exotic and esoteric world, focusing for the sake of my ship and my life. If you haven't landed on strong G, or at least tried to, do it now. For those minutes, you won't care about fleet carriers or space legs. You won't care about Thargoids or whatever the latest Star Citizen lawsuit is. You'll care about the noises your ship is making while you second guess your angle of descent or how fast the ground is approaching. You'll worry just how powerful your thrusters are or whether or not you'll make that flat terrain. Your mind will be on what it should be on while you play games like this. Not power bills, not arguments with your in-laws, not emails from your manager, not your upcoming colonoscopy. You, a spaceship, a planet, and maybe a friend along for the ride. This is escapism. This is Elite Dangerous. This is what you came for. And all this craziness, make sure you enjoy the view though. The whole planet is washed blue from that star. Limit your left and right maneuvering as much as you can. You want to be as straight as you possibly can. Part of that is because our, the ASP uh, thrusters are strongest with the straight on and the vertical. Our thrusters on the sides of our ship are not that strong. Watch your surface descent, how close you are to the surface. And if that number is peeling off too quick, you need to pitch up and slow down. Did you just bounce on the surface? Or is that just leg? Oh yeah, you bounced on the surface. <laughs> uh, I'm still heading down to the surface. Um, I'm, I'm four miles above the surface, or four kilometers I should say above the surface. Um, you want to get your landing gear out and you just basically want to scrape along the surface until you... Touchdown! Ah, there you, you got it. Okay. Well, you did what most commanders fail to do. I'm shooting over your head a little bit here, but don't worry. Yeah. I should be fine if I don't do anything too stupid here at the last second. The problem is it looks like I'm going straight at a ridge. I'm upside down. <laughs> that happens to the best of us, I guess. See if you can rock that ship back over. If I can, I'll try to bump you back over with my SRV. Assuming, I mean, that's assuming I can land at all. So, 300 meters from surface. Put all your pips to shield, so you can get your shield back at least while you're rocking back and forth. Okay, I'm, my landing gear is out. I'm trying to just find a place to land. 
Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Okay, I'm gonna try to come rescue you. Put all your pips to shields. You gotta get them shields up. Oh no, you blew up! Oh, I saw it though. I saw it. Well, um. <laughs> Hold on, let me go to your uh, ruins here. I'll try to pick you up in my SRV and bring you back to my ship. Role play cannon here. Let me get a glance at your ruins, and then I'm going to invite you to uh, my co-pilot's chair here. I think that's your ruins right there. If that isn't your ruins, then it's something weird. Oh my. Yep. This was you. Okay, for your information, that was fun and funny. Alright, hop in my SRV. <laughs> I'm going to head back to my ship and invite you to co-pilot with me if you want to. And then we'll go try to see that life if you want to see the life. Oh man, this is... Driving the SRV in this gravity is insane. Oh wow. Okay, 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 okay. Get over the hill. You really can feel the weight when you're driving an SRV. Ah, okay. See, you are beneath me and the chair beneath me. Yep, I'm in. All right, see, it's like I rescued you from your ruins and brought you back in my SRV. The closest biological signal, number three, it's five million meters. Oh, so let's just try to get off of the planet and then try to land at one, which will be really challenging, but... Okay. Come on. Oh, it's pulling me back down. I don't know if you noticed that. <sighs> no, I'm I'm escaping it. Yeah, you're damn right I'm mass locked. Line of escape vector? You gotta be kidding me. It's way up I can't line that sharp. Is my am I overheating? Yep, I'm heating up. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm gonna move away from the planet a bit and circle back around and try to land at that bio signal. Because we gotta see what that bio signal is. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. I'm kinda like leaning into this now. I'm like leaning forward, but my up thrusters are pushing the ship. Perfect. This is a good technique. Very good technique. And as I get closer, I can just drop my, my vertical thruster, as in let go of the stick. And then I should start getting closer to the planet again. 30 kilometers from signal, 5 from surface. That might be perfect. I'm like having to unconsciously do all this math to see if I'm going to reach the, the horizontal location the same time I reach the vertical location. Okay, here's the life. Oh! Nope. Uh, it says I'm good. Why am I not... Do I need to jiggle my ship a bit? There we go. We're here. You can see some of the light from your cockpit. They look like cactuses. These are some lighthead pods. They make chimes. Very strange. High gravity warning. Psh, yeah, right. It's like its own little colony. It's like those are all windows and there's a civilization living inside that gourd. Aha, that one confirmed. These organic structures can tolerate a wide range of temperatures and are able to absorb energy from nearby stars and apparently survive in extreme gravity as well. All right, gang, let's go driving through these bad boys. That's how we do it. Okay, and with that, I think that's all I want to do here. Back to the ship and let's take off. Thanks for the adventure. It was amazing. All I have to do is escape the planet one more time. Whew, a lot smoother that time. Goodbye, Strong G. It was fun.